Car geeks are descending upon a tiny town in Nebraska for this, a huge auction of old Chevys. They may look a little beat up, but there is something truly unusual going on here, and ABC's Rob Nelson, himself a gearhead, all over the story. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Can you I love drive my off with one? Oh, yeah, I love my Ford Escort. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> for all of you car lovers out there, what you're about to see is quite literally a field of dreams, 80 acres filled with vintage American classics from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Some of these cars have barely been driven, and many are fetching some big bucks. Don't let the dirt and dust fool you. Beneath all the grime, there is buried treasure in the form of vintage American cars now up for auction. We are a long way from the era of malt shops, drive-ins, and rocking around the clock. They don't make them like this anymore. But in Pierce, Nebraska this weekend, nostalgia reigns as car lovers from around the world shell out big bucks for these diamonds in the rough, classic pieces of automotive history. A lot of these cars I've owned, I've driven, I had them when they were new. While many of these Chevys may not be much to look at on the outside, peek your head in and you'll see that some of these babies are literally like new. It's been sitting for 50 years uh, collecting dust and uh, it's just like it came off of assembly line in 1963. All of the more than 500 classics on the auction block this weekend are leftover inventory from a closed Chevrolet dealership. Many put in storage in this field before ever hitting the road. How often do you see a 50 year old car that still is new? Some of the cars have been driven less than 10 miles. Others have seats still wrapped in the factory plastic. This sky blue 1958 Chevy Cameo pickup has just one mile on the odometer and sold for a cool $140,000. This 1955 Chevy 150 fetched more than 50,000. 55 Chevy, make some more, but it, it'll make a nice little car. Fixer uppers, American classics, and more than 10,000 car enthusiasts all out for a glimpse of what was and what could be. Nice. Now, if you like what you saw in that story, you are certainly not alone. That auction, which wraps up later today, drew registered bidders from all 50 states as well as seven countries. You can't even find a hotel room, guys, within at least 50 miles in that wow. town. Another that reminder, time. Americans love their cars. We right? do. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Ford Escorts included. It's <laughs> <laughs> my ride, man. Yeah. No, the ladies no. love it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Smooth. 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 Oh, the ladies, There's a man. class. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's magic. That's it, man. Thanks, Rob.